Hello and welcome to IT. I mean, in this video I'm going to talk about the error that says Windows RE image was not found and this error you get when you try to enable the recovery environment and your operating system, your machine doesn't have the recovery image file. So without further ado, let's get started. I have already created a video that says recovery environment could not be found error and there I have talked briefly about all the different options for enabling recovery environment. In case if you are not able to enable from there, you can use this video to enable the recovery environment. So what happens is in case if you had a recovery partition and you formatted it, it means your machine doesn't have the recovery file. So if I right click the start button and go on to disk management, so in case if you had this recovery partition and the recovery WIM file was sitting here and you have formatted it, in this case you will not be able to enable the recovery environment. The only option is you need to get the Windows installation media or go to some other PC, copy that WIM file and paste in this PC, in this location. So normally when you have the recovery partition enabled, that WIM file is sitting in this location. And if you disable it, it comes into C drive, Windows, System32, Recovery. So I have already enabled show hidden files. So if it is disabled properly, you will see here. In my case, it is not. So what I will be doing is I will be formatting this partition where the recovery image file is sitting here. So I'm going to show you if I open the command prompt as administrator. and I go on to reagent C slash info and you can see that in my case the recovery image is sitting in partition 3 so I will be formatting that partition 3 so this way my machine will no more be having that recovery file so let's use disk part why I'm using this part because the GUI doesn't allow you to delete that partition where you have the recovery image sitting so this part and if I do list disk to see the list of disk, I have two disks. The first one is the one where we have operating system. So I need to select that cell disk zero. Now if I, again I do it list disk and you can see that the star is appearing. That means this is the selected disk. Now I want to see the partition. So list partition and I can see that we have 50 megabytes, 126 GB and 497 megabytes so i need to delete this partition so i need to select that cell partition 3 and now again do list partition and this partition is selected now i will be doing the disaster by deleting this and then i'm going to show you how to do the recovery so del partition if i try to delete that partition Now you can see that's not allowing because it is protected. You can use override to delete that or we can also format this. So that partition successfully got formatted. So now no more we have any image sitting over here in this partition. So if I exit, exit, and uh, let's try to enable it again. Let's see the recovery environment. If I open CMD, open as administrator. And I say reagent C slash info. Now I can see it showing as disabled. Now if I try to enable it, enable, it says Windows recovery image was not found. So the reason is that we have deleted that partition. Even if I try it again, you get the same error. So what you need to do is you need to get the Windows installation media. I will insert the Windows installation media. Okay, so this is the Windows installation media. Within Windows installation media, you need to go on to sources. And within sources, you will find the biggest file over here is install.wim. This is the WIM file that contains your operating system. So one option could be that you install uh, unzip utility like 7-zip and then extract the, the WIM file, the winre.wim file, 
or you can mount it using the DSIM utility. I will be using the mount, but if you have that software 7-zip, you can extract using that. So I'll be using DSIM command line utility. So DSIM, you can use mount WIM file. So DSIM slash mount hyphen WIM. Now how do we use it if you want to see forward slash question mark and it's going to show you how to use it. So DSIM mount WIM and then I need to specify the WIM file forward slash WIM file colon and you need to specify the location where you have that. So in my case it is in Z colon slash sources slash install dot WIM and then you need to specify the index because WIM file have the images for different editions of windows so all of them they have the same image so forward slash index colon one and then where you want to mount it so i will be creating a temporary directory a new folder mount so it's gonna be slash mount dir colon c colon backslash mount now because it's an is so i cannot modify if i try to run over here it's going to give me error so i just need to put on read only because you are not going to make any modification to that mounted folder read only and press enter key so if everything is fine you'll see that the contents start appearing here what we need to get from here is going to Windows, System32, Recovery, and once that mount is complete, you're gonna see that recovery file coming here, winre.wim file. Once it's available, I can copy that file to the actual location where it should be. So where we need that file to be sitting in, we need to copy it to C drive, Windows, system 32 recovery so this is the place where we need to copy this file when, once it's available so it's as of now 40 percent only for four percent only okay when the mounting is done i'll copy the WIM file from the mounted folder to the recovery staging area and you can see that the mounting was completed and now to unmount it you can simply use the following command or when you will restart your pc it will automatically get unmounted okay it needs administrative privileges i'll click continue okay so you copied it successfully now if i try to re-enable it it will work fine and let's keep an eye on that folder this file should go away from here once i enable it reagent c space forward slash enable and again see that it is gone from here and now if i try to check reagent c forward slash info and you can see that it is sitting in recovery partition 2 it didn't go to the the third partition but it's uh, it has been enabled so hope you like this video in the next video i'm going to show you how to create the recovery partition in case you don't have so hope you like this video if you have any other questions or comments please post in the comment section below and don't forget to subscribe see you in the next video